Greetings, friends. So glad you chose to join us again here at Christ Church. which are in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Number one, God is our Father. He is in heaven. Hallowed be he is a holy God. Hallowed be thy name. And he do have a kingdom. Just wonder, are you in the kingdom? God have a kingdom. And uh, you just can't get to the kingdom any kind of way. There is a way to get to the kingdom. And then it says, thy will be done. God will to be done. Not your will. But God will, when you could connect to, the, to, to, to God will, you don't have no problem getting whatever you want. Somebody said that God will give you the desire of your heart. But there's a curve in that. See, your the desire you should be in God will. Your desire you should be in God will. So, we want God's will to be done. Not our will, but God's will. God's will be done in everything that we do. God's will should be done. Not only in the sanctuary, but God's will should be done in our heart. God's will should be done in our attitude, in our character, in our conduct. God will. We ask for a lot of things, but God want to know, are you asking for his will to be done? God say we should pray that his will be done on earth as it is, is in heaven. How many people busy that ask God for his will to be done on earth as it is in heaven? Now, you know God will is done in heaven. But see what prayer does. And this is not what I'm going to talk about, but this is on me. What prayer does, see, God will is, is you allow me to say, is in heaven or in the realm of God. But see, what prayer does when we pray to God, see, prayer takes, our prayer goes up into the heaven realm. And bring God's will in the earth around. God's will be done. We want to talk to you for just a little while from God's word. And God's word is so great. God word is so mighty. It's just, I don't know something about God word. When you get God word in your heart, in your heart, in, in your life, even when you want to do evil, you can't do evil. Even when you want to do wrong or mistreat somebody, the word of God is there to guide us. And the more word you get in you, the more guiding you got in you. But that cannot happen unless you change. I don't care how much you talk about, you want to do this for God, you want to do that for God, ain't nothing going to happen until you change. I don't care you talk about being faithful. Faithful is not going to change in you until you change. And I'm not looking for no amen today because I'm going down a rough road. And I know I'm going down a rough road, but long as I got God with me, I'm okay. Because the Bible said, Luke, Brother Luke, Dr. Luke said in his book, he said, how God went about healing all matters, sick and any disease, because God 
were with him. All you need is God with you. You can do whatever you want to do if you got, if, if, if you got God with you. And that's the most important thing. Today, let me call your attention. Somebody talk about change. In case you don't know what change is, let me tell you what change is. I was studying the Word of God. And, uh, you know, sometimes you get caught up. You, 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 you say to God, say, God, I don't, have, uh, I don't have time to do this, and I don't have time to do that. And I don't have time to do this, and I don't have time to do that. I'm going to tell you how God changed me. Uh, I was thinking about the thing, uh, you know, especially when it comes, if this, this was about studying God's word. And I don't have time to do this. I don't have time to do this. See, now, now, now I don't know if it was God. I don't know what the Holy Spirit. And I don't know what the angel. But I do know it came from God. And, uh, and, uh, and, and, and God said to, and the Spirit uh, spoke to me and said, you know, Curtis, I like when God called me Curtis. That's where I got that Curtis stuff from. See, God called me Curtis. See, 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 see God said Curtis. <clears throat> so when God called me Curtis, I listened. Because that is my name, Curtis. So, this, so the God said, say, 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 Curtis, you know you do have a, a lot of time. You know, you do have a, a lot of time. You say you ain't got no time. You, you got a time to do do some other thing, but see, Curtis, you ain't got no time if you don't stop doing something else. See, to get more time, you got to stop doing something else you're already doing. So God said to, so God said to me, Curtis. I said, yes. He said, uh, you know, you will have more time if you, if you cut out them games you be looking at. He said, you know that one football game can last three hours or more. I said, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. So, 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 yeah, yeah, I'm going to make a long story short because y'all want to get out of here. Mm, me too. And uh, so what happened this season? Just happened two months ago. What happened this season? For two years, Curtis, on Sunday leaving church, Curtis watched football. I get the red zone. That's how much I went to. I watch all of the game. When, when teams is in the red zone, the, the, the red zone show you everybody in the, put the put everybody on there at the same time. It go back and forth to all the games that are playing at that time. It would be five games playing at the same time. So God said, you know, now this is a person thing. God said, you know, coming to church on Sunday is really, you know, it's really, don't tell that. I'm trying to tell you just like he told me. He said, you know, he said, you know, you call, because I do call Curtis. You know you call Sunday the Lord's Day. I said, yes, I do. He said, you're doing a lot of things that is not in my will on Sunday. I said, I say, yeah, the football, I know football ain't in your game because there ain't no, ain't no football in heaven. I know that. I ain't going to be playing no football in heaven. There ain't going to be no football up there. So what I did I don't know how long football been starting in, in September. I ain't watch a football game no Sunday. I ain't got no red zone. I ain't watch no Monday night football. I, well, let me. This last, I think it was last Thursday, I watched a little bit of a Thursday night football game only because Everybody else was telling me Michael Vick was no good, and I want to see it for myself. So that Thursday night, I watched a little bit of it, and Michael was doing pretty good. When I laid my head down on the pillow, Pittsburgh was winning. 
But when I got up, Pittsburgh had lost. But that's okay. But to tell you how God changed me, I don't watch football no more. Ninety-nine and a half percent of the time, I ain't, I ain't watch no football this year. Because when I go home after church, I get into my Bible. That's my wife. I go to my office. I've got words to read. I got, it got to be something about God. God is doing a new thing. I, I, I don't have time. So, uh, I ain't got no football. So, that's one way I change. I don't watch football no more. I, 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 got, I, got to, I got to get closer to God. You can't say, you can't say God changed me. And I don't care how much you say God changed you. You can say it, but if you haven't changed or you haven't stopped doing something, then it, it, have, it, it, it ain't no change your place yet. See, it, it, uh, 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 I, I heard the pastor say a long time ago, change ain't a change into the change. You can not You can talk about change. You can talk about I'm going to be faithful. You can talk about I'm going to be on time. You can talk about it, but it's not that until you do it. Once you do it, you got it. So God working on me, and I'm glad about it. He's doing more changing too. So, but we ain't got time for all of that. We're going to go to the Word. We got, we got three sects of, of scripture that God had put on my heart, and I want to share it with you, and, and the Lord will be done uh, because I got a burden, especially for God's people, because I don't understand certain things about uh, uh, God's people, and I'm, I'm trying to get, get close to God so God can aid. So God can explain it to me. God can help me out. Uh, uh, so, 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 so that's a, a, another story. But let me go to the Word of God in Matthew 17, 24 to 27. Luke, the seventh chapter, the 11 to the 15th. And Luke, the 13th chapter, the 10th to the 17th. Uh, we, we, there is something in there, in some of these scriptures. I done read, I don't know how many times, but this is the first time God brought something to my attention, something about God. You know, if you walk in the will of God and you walk by the word of God, you 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 is a dangerous person. You 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 you, are, you don't know how dangerous you are. When I say danger, I mean you are able to do things an ordinary person cannot do. When you walk in the will of God, you walk in the word of God. You are a danger and you obey the word of God. You are a danger person because you can do what an ordinary person cannot do. I'm asking uh, my wife, Matthew 17, 24 to the 27. Here Jesus is, my subject today is nothing is impossible with 
the great I am. My subject is nothing is impossible with the great I am. Nothing. Here we get the instruction about taxes. They came to Jesus. See, y'all don't, see, I know people get all tied up with money. See, money can come, don't only have to come from a job. God can give you money and it don't come from a job. God can give you money, it don't come from uh, whatever y'all call them, government checks or whatever kind of check you get. God can give you money. So to, for me to say, now, and somebody asked me, say, Curtis, why are you still working? I got two reasons why I'm still working. Now, you can categorize the, the two reasons in a way you, you want to. One main reason I'm still working, because I came, I was going to retire. But I, 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 I started adding, adding up and figuring it up. And I said to myself, Curtis, I like to talk to myself too. And I said, Curtis. If you retire now, don't you know that the money will fall short in giving to God to give to God? I said, so well, I got enough to take care of myself, but my money going to run short. My tithe going to be shorter. My offer going to be shorter. So I said to myself, I still got my help. I still got my strength. I ain't got no problem with pain. I ain't got no problem with rheumatism. I ain't got no problem with nothing. I'm just as healthy as a bird sitting in the tree. I don't wait until I get sick to pray. I pray that God keep me from being sick. That's my prayer. God protect me from disease. Protect me from all, this, all that stuff everybody else get. Protect me from it. See, like God can bring you out of sickening, I'm asking God to keep me from sickening. All the things that God brought you in, when you were in the world, whatever, God thank God brought you out. That same God kept me from all that stuff. So I'm blessed. So, the other reason that I'm still working is, I like money in my pocket. Here, the people came and asked Peter, Peter, do Jesus pay taxes? Did Jesus pay taxes? Peter said, yes. Then Peter went, as he said yes, he went to check with Jesus. <laughs> he, he said, Jesus, they, they, they asking for taxes. Jesus said, I'll tell you what you do. It, I ain't got no money. And I know you ain't got no. But what I want, see, I want to let y'all know when God says something, you got to follow the instruction of him singing. Jesus said, Peter, first I want you to go to the sea. Second, I want you to throw your hook in the water. Third, I want you to catch the first fish come up. You catch not the second fish, not the third fish, not the fifth or sixth fish. The first fish, I want you to catch him, open his mouth, get the money out, and come back and pay our tax. Now Peter could say, "Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let the first fish pass by. I'm gonna do it the second fish. No, it won't work. See, nothing works if you don't do the way God say do it. We got, we as people of God got to learn how to follow instruction. If you want to get out of high school, you're gonna follow instruction." If you want a degree, you're going to follow instruction, or you ain't going to never get that degree. If you want a promotion on your job, you're going to follow that instruction. You are not going there and say, I got the Burger King attitude. 
I got a break and I can have it my way. But when it comes to God, you done got so smart. You done got so intelligent. You done got everything and you know more than what God knows. You got to learn how to follow the, the diagram, the instruction. Called Peter follow the instruction. He got the money out of the first fish. And came, and the Bible said, Jesus said, here's the money for me and you to pay taxes. I don't know why the mud boys didn't have to pay no taxes. But Jesus said, Peter said, for me and you. Jesus said, me and you. Peter and me, here y'all taxes here. The mud boys on their own, I guess. But if, but, but, and what I'm saying is, you cannot narrow God down to bless you in a certain way. You got to follow the instruction. You got to do it the way God say do it. And you can get whatever you want from God. Nothing is impossible with the great I am God. God can do anything. Luke 7, 11 to 15. Read. 